What's going on guys, Bob here back with some new genetic gladiators, so let's get into this. We're going to be getting into the PvE event, which we do have General Chaos, as well as uh, the Retaliate Orb and the Life Orb, which is pretty nice. I was actually hoping they would give us a Platinum this time, but uh, not looking like that's going to happen. We do have the PvP Mutant, which is going to be a new one, so I guess I didn't want to give away too much. Hopefully we do get a Platinum in one of the two events pretty soon that'd be pretty cool but uh unfortunately it's not gonna be this one and also didn't we just have general chaos like i want to say like two events ago it might have been actually in pvp last season i'm not too sure but i'm pretty sure we had it in one of the events like a couple weeks ago so i don't know they're giving us uh, the same mutant over and over but um yeah, I mean, they don't have too many to pick from, especially since they do do the same ones for PvE and, P PvE and PvP, so there's only so many they can have. But hopefully they'll actually give us a Platinum pretty soon. That would be pretty cool, especially because I would be able to get it. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. We are going through level uh, 90 through 100, as you can see there, we did get the Retaliate. Orb, which is actually really good, especially for like defense teams or yeah, mainly defense teams Since uh, you can have like a mutant with um, I don't know what uh, The boost maybe so a galactic mutant with the retaliate orb that works out Because you can't put him on saber mutants. Well, unless the saber doesn't have like apex You could actually put it on him since he does have the boost so you can use it like that, but uh, yeah, they just give us that. Hopefully, they start adding in some of the better orbs. So far, the highest tier orb we have is the level three one. So hopefully, they start doing that for the special orbs for like speed and stuff like that. But uh, we'll see what happens. Those ones do cost a ton, though. So that's the only problem with the uh, switching orbs out all the time. Or having a ton of mutants and trying to put orbs on them they cost so much it's insane and I'm really hoping they bring back the furnaces I know you can only have a limit of I think three now you can only buy of each or something like that which kind of sucks but I understand why they did it I really wish they would have put that up to like 10 but uh, yeah they just Put a cap on three hopefully they start selling like packs like the packs that they've been having with like mutants and gold for i think they're like 20 bucks i really wish i would go back down to 10 because they used to have a lot of those packs for like 10 bucks most of those were a pretty good deal like if they had the um ones that they have now for like 10 bucks i probably would have got one because i need one of the mutants out of uh, the two packs that they have but yeah 20 bucks is way too much for one of the mutants so we're just gonna wait until it's in the actual shop. Plus, you actually get gold with it as well, so that's why I like those deals sometimes. But um, unfortunately, they cost twenty bucks, so that's not gonna happen. But hopefully, they start selling them in there. They are bringing back the furnace. They're bringing back a ton of stuff and a ton of new stuff that they're gonna be adding in. They did add in the platinum uh, zombat and the horse one. I can't remember its name. I did a video on it a while back, I can't even remember its name right now. But uh, yeah, they did those two, and I think that's it. They might be adding in more of them, I'm not too sure. They have so many Platinum Mutants now. Of course, I don't have them all, because they cost so much to actually get, because uh, the Platinum Star costs a thousand, so there's that, plus you gotta get the Mutant, and it's not 100% um on gold stars so say you're trying to get an x27 you could get something else so that kind of sucks even with like a warrior you can just get the knight or something like that but uh, with the bat i did make that one because i do have like six of them or something like that because i made a video a while back breeding uh multiple versions well not multiple versions but multiple pairings of the bat so i think i have like four or five of them so i did make the bat although a lot of people saying it's not worth it. It's still a platinum. It's gonna get stronger overall. I don't know how much it would be compared to like just a regular gold one, like a fully maxed Evo, say like 50 Evo if that's your highest. But uh, it 
is going to be a little bit better. I know it costs quite a bit, but I mean, all I had to do was get the Platinum Star to get it, so it wasn't a big deal. I am trying to get more of the Platinum Mutants to actually complete the sets, because I know they're going to add in a Platinum Bingo. I mean, they have to. They already got the Bronze and all the other ones, so... We're going to be getting the Platinum one. We did get the Research 5 one, which is all <laughs> blocked out, so you can't even see what mutants they have. That means they have a full, like, 30-plus mutants that they're going to be adding in, which is insane compared to how many we already have now. And with the amount we have now, I'm still missing a ton of mutants, so I still got a ways to go. Hopefully, we actually can get some out of the event that they're going to have. Um, with the breedable legendary mutants. I guess it's gonna be every like three weeks or like every once a month basically. They're gonna have an event that uh, you can breed legendary mutants. I don't know how it's exactly gonna work. Maybe um, just bring a certain pair has a better chance of getting a different uh, legendary mutant instead of the one you're actually going for or something. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see because I am missing a few legendary mutants. So we could actually get them out of there. But uh, most of the times I just buy them out of the shop. So not too worried about that. And with the PvP season, I haven't been doing it all that much. Just because there's not a platinum or anything like that. I didn't even make it to the last one. I missed the like last two days of it. So I think I got like silver. So I didn't make it to Grandmaster. But that's fine. That's not a big deal. I hardly ever do PvP anyway. The only reason I don't really do it is I never really liked it in the first place. It wasn't as fun. But uh, now with all the orbs and stuff like that, it makes it a lot harder. And I would rather just go level maybe like two or three times or something like that than play that. And plus I don't even have too much time to actually play PvP all the time. If I had more time like I used to, where I didn't play as many games, could probably see myself doing PvP a lot more, but uh, yeah, it becomes a lot harder when you're doing like four, six, seven, eight games at a time. So I do try to get them out. It's just everyone wants them with commentary. So yeah, putting that in plus making and stuff like that makes it a lot harder. That's why I do this one like this, where I just do the last ten. Makes it a lot easier on me. Plus the first. Like 50 or 60 of them, everyone can get through. I mean, it doesn't even take like one a month maybe to make your emo strong enough to actually make it like halfway through this event just because of all the stuff that they add, plus like the stars and like there's so much stuff you can get before you even make it uh, to a high level now. So, like, you can get some gold star mutants actually pretty quick, especially if you do the free uh, jackpot tokens if you can do it. I think it's blocked in some countries because some people don't get it. I don't know. But um, you do that and you have a chance to get stars and stuff like that. Makes it a lot easier. Plus a ton of credits which helps you boost your evo. So yeah, getting up to evo like 20 or 30 does not take that long. But um, yeah, this event isn't that great it's pretty easy to get through a lot of people get stuck on the last like two or three that's just because it depends how high your evo is it used to be like 30 but uh since all the stuff that they added in it has dropped quite a bit i've seen some people beat it at like 25 now even like 20 ish because they have like really strong tags of high level players so yeah it does make it a lot easier now to actually get through this event But um, yeah, we're gonna finish it here in a second. It's a pretty easy event. Hopefully, I'm hoping they add more levels in or they change it up a little bit on this event because it's kind of getting repetitive. It's been like, what, like a year? Maybe a little bit longer than that since this event uh, came out. I don't even know how long they've had this event. It's been a while. I could actually go back and look because I did do the very first one, but. Yeah, it's been quite a bit of time, and it's basically the same thing, same uh, stadium or same fight, fight scene in the background and stuff like that, so hopefully they change that up. 
And I'm still hoping that they add in a way to remove stars off of mutants. Because I have like 10 beetle bots. No, it's probably a little bit less than that. Like 8 beetle bots with gold stars. And I don't need that many. I know they're going to have a platinum version of it at some point. So I do need to save like 3 of them. Because I like having all the versions from uh, bronze to platinum if they have platinum. So I do need to save 3 of them. But all the rest of them, I'll destroy them if I get back to star. Totally fine. So I can make different mutants, which I need. So, like this uh, King Steven one. I do need to make it into platinum, but I just need another gold star to make one more. So, I mean, I could do it with this plat or this gold star I'm going to get. But uh, I don't know what platinums they're going to come out with next. And I do at least want to save one platinum just in case it's like X27 or like a really good mutant or somebody that I actually need to use so that's why I always keep one but I did get two platinums done so that's a pretty good deal and we did waste a ton of passes on these I have been keeping up with the passes as well but uh, some, t some days I get a lot less so sometimes I get like five or six hundred back and some, t some days I get upwards of a thousand uh, gifts back even though I have like 5k friends I think I need to go through my list again even though I'm not at 5k I think I'm at like uh, 4,800 or 900 right now so I still have a ton of room but looks like I gotta get rid of more people and add a ton more so yeah there's another like two or three hours sitting there going through the friends list figuring out who I need to get rid of it is pretty Hard to go through 5,000 people to find out if they're playing or not anymore. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But uh, yeah, that's the event. Not too hard, anything like that. Uh, I do upload these every time they come out. I am a little bit late. I'm usually a little bit late on these because it's not a big issue since I think a lot of people beat it relatively quickly. So yeah, you just got to get really good tag and you should be set. But that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you in the next event.